It's the Rangers Ibrox Stadium update that we've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not exactly confirmation, but there is photographs to go with it as Rangers Ibrox delay is in pictures as the ring of steel surrounds Copeland Road stand and new venue yet to be found. So forget about the venue for now that's going to be found. Let's look here. It's arrived on the scene here. And let's have a look. So, yeah, we have got skips. We've got porta potties. We have got scaffolding. We have got steel. We have got a lot going on here. Is this the shipments that have been delayed? No, because they were nowhere near ready. Because it's looking like the end of July for them. Um, unless there's been, what, a miraculous and they've somehow managed to get it in like three, four weeks early. Um, now, in terms of the information, let's see here. Now, obviously, it says here, chairs have been affected from Ibrox for at least the month of August. So we, we already knew that. Hamden, Murrayfield, both contingencies, plans. Now, in terms of Hamden, all right, Hamden is currently in action after hosting two concerts as part of Pink's World Tour last weekend. Gers would face a race against time to have a new surface installed for their first home league game against Morwell on the 10th of August. Queen's Park are also due to move back into the stadium following Scotland's National League games in September, which further complicates matters, although there could be an option to play their championship games at the lesser alternative Hamden ground. That is for, what, Queen's Park? I, I mean, I'd like to think that Rangers would get priority over Queen's Park, but the problem is, I mean, Rangers have dug this hole themselves at the end of the day. Is it really, it's not really right to book Queen's Park at their stadium, even though it's not really their stadium, but it kind of is their stadium sort of thing. Um, no, and... Another alternative would be for Rangers to travel to Edinburgh and play their games at Murrayfield, but that would see thousands of fans travelling up the M8. There's also the issues of Hearts and Hibs playing on the same day, with Tyne Castle just a stone throws away from the home of rugby. I did touch upon the fact there could have been rugby, but I don't think there is any rugby on um, coming soon. So it is what it is, and uh, it's been erected around the Copeland Road stand um, all the steel so as you can see we've got images here we've got a crane looking on as Connor Goldson we don't need to talk about Connor Goldson here I've already talked a lot about Connor Goldson in that utterly bizarre answer so concrete answer blocks of concrete lie at the corner of the Copeland Road stand here not ideal construction site boom temporary scaffolding has been erected so, so it says photo three of six, right? But when I clicked on it, it just essentially a completely different article. But this doesn't look like, you know, guaranteed month of August won't be ready. Then it's pretty much going to be a race against time in September. Then you've got the, I think it's looking like. But then if you can't use if you can't use Murrayfield and Hamden, what are what are Rangers going to do? No, like seriously, well, what is the game plan? It's an absolute mess. This for this to be allowed to happen. I mean, you can take what you want for these pictures, but I mean, it doesn't look particularly good for Rangers. And if I was to make a prediction, I'm going to go midway through October. I think around, around my birthday, I think that's when Rangers will be back in Ibrox. Um, I, I wish that wasn't true, but I think that's just the reality that we're looking at here. That's what I think, and that's what I think is going to happen. And I'm, I don't lie. I'm not. You know, I'm not over speculating here to create a bit of drama. I genuinely think we are looking at mid October. That would be my prediction for Ibrox. Obviously, you know, they'll, they'll get the games played somewhere. Where will that be? <laughs> You'll have to find out. And we'll bring it to you, Fog Football. So until next time, peace.